Hi, I am live. Hey kids. So this is my official first short and stout sense. And um, I guess I want to say welcome to short and stout. I don't know if I'll have any viewers because I don't have the fan base that a Laura Dillon and Dave from Mountain Aromatics has. But you know what? We gonna do it anyway. So, this is my first live video. If you hear somebody talking in the background, that's Stout. He's being shy today. He doesn't want to be on camera. And I got to make sure I look at the right place because I'm not looking at the right place. If I'm looking over here, I'm not looking at the right place. If I'm looking here, I'm looking at the right place. Is that correct, Stout? Thank you. He's giving me a thumbs up. All right, guys. So, I just wanted to uh, come on and... I had an epiphany today. So I was uh, one of the people, actually, to my knowledge, I'm gonna take this claim, uh, Susan Lemon at creatingperfume.com created the um, beginner's kit for moi, for me, because I asked, hey, can you create a beginner's kit for someone who doesn't have any products and her and Alora and Dave, I guess, all came up with these, uh, I think it was 80 ingredients that you could buy and start your little perfumery um, lab going. So I got all the ingredients quite some time ago. They were all transferred to their amber bottles, which took me a long time also. And um, if you have also ordered the uh, Creating Perfume Beginners Kit, which is a great one to start with, by the way, it's a great price. Um, you recall that they come in these little vials. Um, I then had to take these, and Vivian knows what I'm talking about, because I believe she had to do it. You have to take these and transfer it to an amber bottle. Now, the thing about that is, when I, when I was transferring everything over, I noticed that there was probably some ingredients left in uh, some of these bottles. So, for example, um, there's some in here that, you know, if you actually look in there, there's still some, how do the people do this? Focus. There's still some ingredients left inside these bottles that I felt were gonna be, you know, go to waste. And today I was sitting in my office and I thought, you know what? Why don't I take the little bottles and add a little alcohol? And I can just do five at a time, for example. So I'm not even gonna look. I hope that, cause some of them look a little dry. Uh, I'm gonna grab maybe a few let's see i'm gonna grab one and i feel like i'm playing bingo kumarex db by iff kumarex db by iff that's the first one let's get another one do you hear the balls rolling around I-21. I-21. Uh, now we have Mayol oh. by Fermanish. Mayol. M-A-Y-O-L. Mayol. O-69. O-69. B-33. The no. Age of Jesus. No B. It's no B. I don't play bingo. Sorry, people. Uh, next would be... Ferrisconio, Ferrisconio. Now some of these I haven't even really smelled, which is why I think this is cool to try to just do five random ones. And then I can give you a little description of what I think I'm smelling. Next is Magnolis, Magnolis. I feel like I'm getting Magnolia Crawford. That's for all you Drag Race fans out there. All right, and the last one will be Oh, hexanol C3, hexanol cis3, 
Hexanol Sys 3. So, we got to work with what we got, people. So, I'm going to add some perfumer's alcohol, just a little bit, to uh, these bottles. And see what we got working with. And then I'm a shaky, shaky, shaky. All right, so the first one was Kumarex DB. Right off of the headspace. I don't know. I think I gotta let that alcohol dissipate. It's actually got kind of a, oh, hey, Devin Stout, thanks for the high. It's got kind of, of um, a food. And people, I might be way off with these, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna just do it. So we have, um, I don't know, maybe I'll give it some time for it to, um, to fill up. Here, Style, can you come over here off camera? And um, help a brother out with these. Um, just un un open them for me. I'm just doing like two little drops for each. Or three or four, whatever comes out. And then I'm gonna try to smell it. Thank you, Sal. You're a wonderful You're assistant. <clears throat> now I know that hexanol, you're not supposed to even smell up close because burn your nose you'll hairs. burn your nose hairs. Your olfactory bulb will get burnt. So, let me go back to this Coomerix. What do you think, Stout? It smells like suntan lotion. Oh. Um, <coughs> do you want to bring a chair? I don't care. Come over here. I know the people are dying to see Stout, the ghost of a man. Hell. It's fine. We all look like hell today. You're the most beautiful man I've ever seen. Okay. Hello. So I thought it smelled like suntan lotion. So it's got a little suntan lotion <coughs> feel to it. What do you get from the bottle? So I think it's a little too alcohol. The same, but less than. Less than. All right, let's go to the Ferrisconio. Ferrisconio, it sounds Italiano. Um, oh, this is interesting. We have one viewer and it's me. <laughs> this My is actually, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's very like camphorous, I feel. Feel something coming out of that. Mm. It's very like, um, like, almost like an ingredient that you find in Vicks Vapor All, right? Like those kind of like. Yeah. But I can see how this can look good in a, in a scent because I feel like it'll be like, ooh, what's that person wearing? Yeah. It's, it's very mentally, like menthol. Men yeah, like a menthol to it. Ferrisconio. I've never smelled Ferrisconio before. You need a pen. Uh, we should, but I'm going to keep it right next to it so that I know it's going to be to the right of it. The next one. What does that do? I don't know. 
make us look glamour. Probably. <laughs> the next one will be Mayall by Fermanish. Uh, I, I think I've smelled this one before. It kind of has a... I know what he's going to say. No, what? <laughs> Close your ears. <laughs> Close your ears. Uh, he's going to say it smells no, like... No, I can't. I can't, but... He's going to say it's going to smell like a cleaning <laughs> product. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know. I can't find the scent. You can't find it? No. Like it smells like nothing to you? <coughs> no, but I don't know what that is. What does it Maybe remind you of? It's too light. Is I don't it too know. light? Yeah, I don't really smell much. Here, smell that out of the bottle. <laughs> I don't know. What does it remind you if you were to guess something? For some reason, it smells like P Town. <laughs> like P Town? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, P Town is beachy, it's, yeah. it's a lake. Maybe that. I thought you were going to say it smells like cleaning products. Maybe. I was wrong, people. Oh, we have a two I was viewers. wrong. I have a second viewer! <laughs> it's happening, people! <laughs> okay, this one now is Magnolias. Watch it be like my mom or something. And we got a, we got a like. <laughs> Watch it be my mom. It's probably your mom, but moms, that's what moms do. They support. So if you were to guess what magnolias means and that and by smelling that. Oh I guess the flower. It smells like the flower. It's the magnolia flower. It's actually really pretty. For floral. I feel like this is something that you can um maybe work with. And last last but not least, um it's the Hexanol Cis 3. And I hope I put enough alcohol in this one because I know that this one you're not supposed to smell. Nope. Yeah. Oh, you know what this smells like? I wonder if they can hear with the AC on. I hope you can hear with the AC on. Please leave us a comment if you can't, because this is our first time doing a live video. That smells like wood. Wood? Actually, yeah. You know what it smells like to me? Like the green stem of a, of a plant. Yeah. Like if you were to take a plant and just snap it, like a brand, one that has like a crunch to it that might even ooze a little like juice. It's very green. Do you see that now? Like it's like yeah. a, it's like a green. Uh, so tree that's limb. tree limb. Like, yeah, like not or so a much twig. A, a twig, a, tw a, a twig that's alive. Yeah. So not a dry twig, but a, a real live twig. Does that mean something? Real live to wake? Um, so now, let's just put all these together because why not? <laughs> we might create the next scent <laughs> with these random... Just a random just grab. Random <laughs> grab. I mean, we have a floral. We have a green. We have um, something that smells like suntan lotion. Yeah. I mean... That Cis 3 is really strong, so I would, like, use that in a very, very light... But this is kind of cool that this is how, like... I only smell that branch. That branch, right? And guess what? I didn't write the names on it like he said I should. <laughs> so I can't even pull it out. But it's probably this last one. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yep. Never listens to booby. Never listens to the booby. But I got it. That's without it? I think so. No, no, sorry. <laughs> That's the man. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's without it? Because you could smell it right away. Booby smelled that right away. Stout. 
Yeah. He's the booby. <laughs> I mean, now without it, it's not horrible. But this is how you formulate. You know, this is what I'm so proud of him because he's growing. And now we uh, we um, will go to a cologne or like a Sephora or something and I'll make him smell something. He's like, oh, I'm so used to the fancier stuff now and, and your supplies <laughs> that I can tell that that's cheap. I'm like, oh, excuse me. I'll make a perfume out of him one way or another. No, but I was saying there's three we now. Now we got three viewers. Oh, this is so amazing. I'm so thankful for whoever you are, <laughs> even though one of them is sitting right next to me. I could turn mine off. <laughs> then we got two. Oh, well, so just to go back over with the ones that we use, it was uh, Kumarex. It was Ferrisconio. It was Mayol, M-A-Y-O-L. It was Magnolias E, and it was Hexanol Cis five? 3. I picked five just because I didn't want to make this a uh, super long live feed, yeah. but Stout wants some more. No. You want another one? Pick that yellow one. No. Oh, it's, oh, it's supposed to be. It's, well, supposed, it's supposed to be random. Close your eyes. It's picking people. I, uh, 21. Where do you see it? And then I'll pick one of myself without looking. Fixature? Is that what that is? Fixature. 505. 505. E. Fixature 505 E. Is that real? That's what it is? Yep. Open it up. And mine is lime, lime oil. oil distilled. Well, I'm assuming that's going to be lime. <clears throat> All right, kids. Kid. Kid. We lost. We it. lost a viewer. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to mention it. It's okay. No, but that's life. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, shaky, shaky. Hey, we did seven. That's my lucky number. Seven. So we're good. Well, I mean, I can probably guess what lime oil is going to smell like, but this is for you. What do I do? Smell it out of the headspace first. Ugh, I don't know what that is. I guess I got an easy one because I got lime oil. It smells like lime. But it's funny, it, it also smells like, um, not just like lime, it smells like, like limeade, like you put, you made a drink out of it, like it has sugar. I don't know what mine smells like. We'll switch. Mine smells like medica medication, medicated or something. It's very, very, very hint, but it's a, it's a floral. I also don't know if you got enough in there, oh. but you might. I might have ne needed to give you more alcohol. I just got a little like that. Yeah, a little tippity tip tip. You know, I put some more. So to my understanding, but uh, this smells fixature, like something, 505. It doesn't it smell like uh like a drink, like like yeah. you made a limeade drink and you put sugar in it and you're yeah. about to drink it. Not just like pure lime. No, yeah, it's definitely it smells like not like <clears throat> A seven up or anything but no it's more it's just more pure lime like you squeeze yeah. the lime with water and then you put sugar in it um you can actually smell the floral a little bit if you if you it's got a hint of flowers in there so i think fix, fixature and please correct me if i'm wrong alora or dave um it's um it's more to make your sense last longer or project wow. fixature so it adds a little floralness to it but that's the lime and now we can put all of them together again because you put the lime in the coconut i mean that cis 3 hexanol takes over but 
Yeah. Yeah. Can't smell anything else. So that's that's an example. I've been learning, obviously, like everyone else, of diluting. So that's one. You see how I've been making all my oils 20%? That's one that you would make 1% because it's so strong that just like a tiny, tiny drop, just to give it that little hint of green, um, will be enough. Because if you do 20%, the same strength as the other ones, it's gonna overpower. So now I need to get my notebook and make a note that the uh, cis 3 hexanol, the hexanol cis 3, which I always know that the hexanol cysts and all that's kind of are, are like the aldehydes, and you have to keep it on a lighter version. So that's uh, our time for today. With, 21 minutes. Uh, we're at 20 minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, but I wanted to show you actually here. Um, why don't you step up and uh, pick up the camera? I'll pick up the camera. So I want to show you uh, my um, little setup, my little baby Alora setup. Yay! I have my little turning wheels, and I actually started diluting all my oils, and the regular ones are in the back. So these are all my twenty percent, with my little trick with the remember with the. Um, Mod Podge paintbrush. paintbrush going over the labels so that it can uh, protect it a little bit. If you need to watch that video, it's in my channel. And uh, little by little, I'm creating my little, my little wheels. I'm very excited. Let me shut off my light. And with that, my friends, we are going to say adieu. Thank you for watching. Short and stout. Very right. stout. Bye. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of these videos because it was fun. And we'll learn about our ingredients like that on camera with you. Talk to you later. Bye.